his mantra is about uh, so Vishnu uh, some gods they have a lot of avatars or incarnations okay so they come they come to especially Vishnu he has incarnations that come to the earth realm to help humans sustain the army and go through obstacles and Vishnu has uh, like 10 incarnations and avatars and Rama is one of them uh, Rama he was he was a king a king god and uh, he had to be exiled for many many years and then when he came back everybody rejoiced Jaya Jai, Jai Ram. And Sita, he, she is the, the, the wife of Ram. Uh, she comes from the earth. So there is, there is a story where the earth opens a hole and comes Sita. Uh, and uh, Ram and Sita, they, they represent true love and justice, Dharma. Dharma, it's that which sustains. Uh, and, and there is a demon called Ravana. And he kidnaps Sita. And he takes her to Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka is a, an island next to, next to India. But nobody knows that he took her to Sri Lanka. And so Rama has to gather an army to look for Sita. And in the middle <laughs> in the middle of that army there are these beings called uh, Vahanas, Vahanas uh, which are like half uh, animals, half celestial beings, half. And there is Hanuman in the middle of those beings. And Hanuman is a very special uh, god. He has a monkey face. And um, he is born with a monkey face because his uh, mother had a curse on her. But he's uh, also very special. He has lots of powers. Um, so sometimes he doesn't even remember his powers. And then there are some challenges that he has to go through that remind him, oh, I know how to do this. And sometimes it's like that he does not. Mm -hmm. um, and Hanuman, he he helps Rama to to save Sita, and he gives a big jump from India to Sri Lanka, and there are many challenges that he goes through to get to Sri Lanka, um, and of course when he gets there, <coughs> he has to fight Rama, and he brings Sita back, and he's. It's very, uh, these, these three, Rama, Sita, and Hanuman, they are very special. He's very, he represents devotion in a very deep way, Hanuman. Um, and he, he is always there when we tell the story. When we speak about Rama and Sita, he's there. Hanuman is, so if you want to call Hanuman, you have to tell the story about Sita. And uh, once uh, Sita gave him a jewel, a very precious jewel, very special one to show her her appreciation for him. Thank you for for saving me. And he takes that jewel, and then he bites the jewel. Like, <laughs> and she's like, "What are you doing?" And he's like, "What is this? When I have you inside of me?" And then he opens his chest, and instead of his heart, there is Sita and Ram. So he's, he represents the deepest devotion that you can imagine. And, uh, and faith also. So, and I think people um, are losing a lot of, lots of faith. Um, no, the world is full of bad things. And uh, there, in, there are these gurus that are humans that they make mistakes. So, then we lost, lose faith in them also. We, we are losing faith in religion. We are, but faith is very important. Um, uh, it's some, some, uh, 
some masters of yoga, they say that faith is the fastest way to, to reach enlightenment. Um, so it's very important to have faith in something. Okay. Uh, so if sometimes you lose your faith, think about time. And this mantra is about these three. It's about victory to Dharma, victory to Sita, victory to Hanuman, and what they represent, which is justice, Dharma, love, and devotion. Would you like to say something else? So this is also a call and response. Mm -hmm. <coughs>
Yeah.